Hey y'all, good morning. It's Valentine's Day and we got the kids little small treats, special treats. LJ got a shirt, he got some candy, he got a um, wireless charger pad and we had a movie night set and we got him this little um, lead light pad where he can draw because he likes drawing. We got Carlin some little um, face wash pads. Got her some jelly beans. She got she liked these little things. These backpack things. Stuff come in it. She liked those. And then we got her a shirt also. We got her this little cute. I'm trying not to mess up their stuff. Cute little Valentine's Day shirt with the heart in the middle. And then some pants to go. Because hey, why not? And we're about we're getting ready. So I can show y'all me. I look a mess, but hold on, I still got two face on my face. We're getting ready to go to this castle that's like an hour away. So that's why I'm rushing through through this intro. But we're about to get ready because we need to leave within 40 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to come back to y'all either when I'm in the car or when we get there. All right? All right. You have to go in the big one, LJ. We know that. Yeah, they used to. They didn't kill you people. Throw fruit at you. It's, yeah, if you've done something bad, you'd have to stand in there for a certain amount of time. People you throw rotten fruit and all kinds of dog poo. Go get in line, Carlin. No, that's a guillotine. No, that's a guillotine. Carlin. Carlin, Carlin. Carlin. Come on. Then quit. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta put your head in it. It's a video. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> Let's go up. We're climbing up the thing here. We got all the way up there. I'm going up there. I like this. This is cool. What's your name? Uh, Mom, y'all put me on water. What is that? That's a secret door? Alger, do you know what those are called? This? Uh, no. A door? No, these. Exactly, is a type of body armor worn by the infantry during battles. It is made by sewing plates, sewing iron plates between layers of felt and canvas, making it flexible and adaptable. The soft surface enables soldiers to rest their butts, to rest the butts of, of their weapons, weapons against, against their body. body. This one dates back to the 16th century. The weight of a jack of plate was usually around, around eight, eight kilos. kilograms. That's like what's eight kilograms? 17.6. 17 pounds. Yeah. So this whole thing is 17 pounds. These guys have a... Death mask. 17 pounds you have to wear. 
Where? Where's the death mask? Who is the one that So, that is a death mask. Here's the information for that. So, is that you? Yes. yes. Oh. It doesn't look like it. I'm scared. <laughs> He said it doesn't look like it. He was the one that led the um, parliamentarians against Charles I. And Charles I was the king of England at the time. The only king ever to have been executed. This is the red drawing room. This was the room used as an um, antique room for visiting when people used to come and visit the king guests and stuff. Do you recognize those like still like that? No, I think they put something in that. I don't think it's actually what they left. Or you can just where we were just a minute ago, just step there, but it leads all the way around anyway. Oh, this is a big dining table. It is. How is that fruit real? It's not. It's not. Look at the ceiling. So this is, Charles was executed during the Civil War. I said, why? Do they know why? Because he refused to work with Parliament. Oh. So at that time, you see, the king was the, the supreme ruler of the country. Right. And so he was married, even though he was a Protestant, he was married to a Catholic uh, queen, a princess. Well, she was a princess, and then she became a queen. And the people of England felt that he was, he was, she was influencing too much. Mm. That's messed up. They don't chop the king head off. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Ain't that spooky? What room is this? Yeah, that's him. Oliver Cromwell, right, that was him. Okay. He was the one that led the parliamentarians in the fight against the king. That looks true. And so, once, I know, don't once it? the king had been executed, some people wanted him to be the ruler, and he said, I've not executed one monarch to make myself the next. And at that time only, England was a republic. It had to be heavy. Yeah. It keeps them safe. Like this was the room for male guests to relax in. Oh, they would smoke and play. Play what's billards? I don't know what billards is. Who are males? So when talking about are males politics, women? Are so males women? that's what this room are is. Males women? Huh? Are males women? Females. Uh, so males are men. Man. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes the women look like men back in the day. I don't know. I said sometimes the women may look like men. Mm -hmm. I guess. Or men might look like women. Uh, that's what you think. fabric that's the guy you were <coughs> telling me about <laughs> he had six wives yes he did they do me a thing so he's surrounded by all his wives look i see so you yeah, got one of them got beheaded two of them did oh two of them Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard Her. it tells you so the way to remember it is, uh -huh. right, divorce, beheaded, died, divorce, beheaded, she outlived him. 
Oh. Okay. Um, divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded. Survived. Okay. She was the only one who outlived him. Okay. The only woman he ever truly loved, allegedly, was um, Jane Seymour. She was the one who gave him Edward the Edward Edward because his sole aim was to have a son mm -hmm. to inherit. Mm -hmm. So Catherine of Aragon was she, Mary's mother. She was Catholic. Okay. okay. Anne Boleyn was Elizabeth the first mother. She was Protestant. She's and, the one that couldn't have children, right? Well, she did. She had a daughter, uh, but she also had a lot of miscarriages. Okay. Okay. She had a son. But he was a very sickly child. She died about two weeks after childbirth, and his son lived to the age of nine, and then he died. Oh. Okay. Anne of Cleves, he got married to her without ever actually seeing her, and then they got divorced very quickly, but she kept her head. Mm -hmm. Catherine Howard, she was also beheaded, and um, Catherine Parr, she outlived him. Okay, so why was she beheaded? Um, she couldn't have she children wife. either. So what he tended to do was, if if his wives couldn't give him sons, mm -hmm. then he he either he, he said to his advisors, find me a reason to get rid of her. So this passageway was used by servants to bypass the state rooms. Oh, okay. The so servants, servants have to walk through here. Yeah, because they wouldn't want servants like walking through when they were having dinner. Okay. All right. What is that? Custom. What is they did witchcraft? No, making porridge. For making oatmeal. Oh. Why they make so much oatmeal? I'm going to show you how big it is. Does it taste good? That was the Earl of Warwick playing with the porridge pot in the 1950s. 1950s. Look at the pot. I looked at the pot. <laughs> oh, it's also used as a punch bowl. Punch, like. Punch, alcohol. drink. Yeah, so cool. and then I'm gonna get squished. Y'all, it's so much history in this castle. So much history. I'm probably gonna have to divide this video up to part one and part two. Oh, you can tell them cushion is old. Just oh. Look at the stained glass windows. You can see how old those windows are. Oh, look at the Where? the chandelier. Oh, yes. Is this where they have parties? Clara Butt, 1872 through 1936. Oh, 6'2? Oh, she was tall. When we was walking around in the castle, I was just in awe 
on how people used to live back in those days how the kings had so much power over a lot of stuff like that king we were talking about he had six wives and then he was able to i think what i say was died beheaded died beheaded died and the six one lived outlived him but he was able to make a um make make a catholic church so that he was able to divorce one of his wives he was able to do that because he was the king and so they had so much power so much power the fact that how people used to live it almost gave you chills like walking through the castle but it is so so much history behind it and it's so much fun to learn the history behind all of it so if you ever in england i highly recommend rec recommend coming what um castle is this warwick castle come and learn the history oh i'm about to fall hold on look y'all Remember, have y'all ever seen the movies when they stood here to protect themselves and they used to watch the people come before they attack and they yell, attack, attack. I'm pretty sure that's not what they yell, but they yell something. And the bridge used to go down. This what used to block them from getting attacked. This little area right here. Keep the arrows from hitting them and stuff. But this is the part that we're at. They used to stand here. Huh? Carla and LJ. <laughs> Let me get down, y'all. These steps are really steep. Ooh, my legs. My legs hurt. I know, I wasn't ready for this. But yeah, look, these are definitely, that's that's a new stone. Yeah. It's been replaced. Cause I mean, they're not We got even... moss and everything. Yeah. Gonna... yeah. Okay. Ooh, y'all. My leg, my thighs are burning. Kickboxing last night. Cause naturally they'd have uh, look. Ooh, jeez. And on top of that, they were wearing like what? Armor, heavy armor. Yeah. They were wearing armor, so imagine them have to come up these steps with all their armor on and try to help the attack. Dang, I'm out of breath. I'm scared. Scared of what? Oh, that's so pretty. Guys, tower. So pretty. I'm scared of the tower. Right Here go another part where they can cover their self. Oh. Right. And another area. Ooh. The black hound, the black hound, the tower you are about to enter is named after one of Warwick's castle most ruthless owners. How he was ruthless? What is ruthless? Guy, you can't. He was mean. Ruthless mean he was mean. Oh, King, never mind. I know why he was ruthless. Never mind. King Edward. That tells it all. If you don't know who King Edward is, look it up. And I think I mentioned him when we was back. Oh, y'all. Why is he mean? Because he was mean. This is creepy. Carl, stop holding on to me. Wait, wait. One letter talk. Go. I'm behind you, phone. Oh, jeez. Turn your feet sideways. Did you say now? Oh, y'all, it's dark. Hold on. It's so dark. And it's... How many stairs? Oh! Okay. We almost there. I'm scared to touch. What are you squeaking for? I'm scared. Just keep walking. You hear crying in the back? It is scary. Jesus. How many stairs is it? We stink. I'm still you know going. Oh my gee. <laughs> oh my gee. 
I dropped something. Me too, I see light. Oh. I see light. I see light. Come on. Oh my gee. <laughs> you have to come up here though for the views. Oh my gee. That was a lot. Oh my gee. I'm tired. You gotta go back down self. No. You go that way though, just one way. Oh gee. So how are you supposed to get out? Oh. That was a workout. I'm scratching power. Okay, y'all. Give me a second if I can catch my breath. Give me a second. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This is the very top of the castle. Very top. Let me show you. We all the way at the top. Like, uh, I don't even want to look. You can see everything. We're so far up, y'all. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This is your one time to show everybody what you're made of. I want some fancy footwork. Are you ready? Go ready! Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. And we are training another milky eagle owl to do your job. We love you to get journey. You're amazing. Come on, jump up here. Let's give him a round of applause for his Exactly where he's going and what he's got to do. So yes, don't move out of his way at the last second. Because the chances are you don't want to head butt up a falcon at night. There we go. Look at this. There we are. So now he's uh, figured out what his job is, and now he's relentlessly hunting down the lure. Where is he? Ah, there he is. See this little bit of breeze we've got here is ideal for him. Right now, so we'll give him a little, here we go. <laughs> Good job, Simon. How about a round of applause? Oh, You're stuck to the floor, silly Billy. <laughs> he's quite tired on that one, actually. Um, he's grabbing his lure, and the reason he grabs it is because he doesn't ever want to sit out like this in the open. He'll feel very exposed. So he usually always runs over towards this little green staging. But he had such a good grasp on it, he was actually stuck to the ground, wasn't he? And I'll make a trade now, and I'll offer him this nice piece of food. You have to let that go. Well, that's not very nice of you, is it? You have to let it go, Simon. You can't bring it with you. Well, that's a good grip. Right, that was a bit better of you, wasn't it? Thank you, Simon. I'm not sure where those appalling manners came from. But anyway, as you can see, after a slight small game of tug of war, he was more than happy to give me my lure back. He spotted something, you know. Uh, oh, there you go. It's a raven. It's like, like ravens. Big, powerful members of the pro family. I knew something bothering him. The raven is supposed to be serious. Hey, y'all. Um, we, we left the castle. We're in the car now, heading back home. We have, uh, how long we got before we get home? Oh, we got an hour and 10 minutes before we get home so i'm in the vlog here thank you guys for watching our video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend <coughs> to subscribe to our channel because if you're not subscribed what you are suck. you doing okay all right i'll see y'all <coughs> in the next video